Uh, J2X engine is a an upper stage engine that is being uh, developed by NASA in uh, partnership with uh, Pratt Whitney Rocketdyne, and uh, this engine uh, is going to uh, provide the uh, thrust for an upper stage for uh, for a future launch vehicle for NASA. The J2X engine will provide nominally 294,000 pounds of thrust at 448 seconds ISP. The ISP is the gas mileage of the, of the engine. It's what gives it the efficiency to be an upper stage engine. I like to think of uh, first stage engines as being what I would call big diesel trucks, power. And upper stage engines being more gas mileage, the, the car that can go the longest on one fill of gas. Uh, it's designed to get you initially into orbit with a heavy mass and then it's also designed to then fire you again away from Earth orbit going either to Mars, uh, Moon or some other near Earth object. Currently there are several upper stage engines that are being used but they're all for much smaller payloads. If you're trying to take humans into orbit or large expeditions into orbit you need much more thrust. You'd have to cluster dozens of these smaller engines together. The J2 lets you do the mission in one or two engines. Additionally, it can now take a lunar mission all the way to orbit and much larger lunar mission than they've done before. For instance, under these current missions, you can land anywhere on the moon, not just in the equatorial regions. It's important to have that kind of flexibility, to have enough thrust to be able to, uh, to, to do the things you need to do while still uh, beholden to Earth's gravity, and also to be able to be flexible enough to do other jobs as well. Uh, it's a nice sweet spot of thrust and performance that goes well with, with several different launch vehicles. The J2X is really building on the heritage of our J2 engine, uh, which is the only upper stage engine that took uh, the man to the moon on the Apollo program back in the 60s. Uh, so we're building on that heritage. Uh, we're developing uh, new engineering techniques, new en design techniques, uh, new manufacturing techniques, uh, working with um, outside vendors on castings and forgings uh, to, to develop the engine uh, to get a little bit more thrust and a little bit more ISP or, or gas mileage out of the engine. The J2X has a lot of additional features the original didn't have. First of all, we've upgraded all of the electronics. The prior J2 had tube generation electronics and we've gone to all solid state, best there is out there right now, rated for space flight. Additionally, we've eliminated all the materials that you can't handle anymore, like the beryllium's and the things you don't want to do. And we've gone to the latest generation of design practices and bonding processes so that the workmanship is a much higher level than was ever attainable in the old J2. Well, the design phase is finished. And so now we are in uh, full-scale manufacturing of all of our development engines uh, to allow us to, to finish our development program. We're currently in the throes of trying to really get some a lot of hardware through the shop to meet this early test date. Uh, we have daily telecons in which we discuss the next operations on the uh, critical path parts. At Rocketdyne they have stand-up meetings every morning with the machinists before they start operations. It's a really diligent effort right now because we have pretty much every major component of the combustion devices is at one point in fabrication at this point. Now is a great time for the J2X engine in that its parts are starting to come together. Some of the materials we ordered several years ago, now they're in here, they're being worked, they're being machined, joined, and we're starting to assemble the turbo pumps. So here in the precision measurement room, we're part of the quality organization, and we make sure that quality is inspected into all of the hardware by ensuring that we're meeting blueprint specs and that everything is up to the standard that the engineering team has set up for us to uh, inspect the hardware to. Uh, we have uh, nine engines that we expect to build and uh, we are very, very near completion of engine 10001, which is our first engine. We're seeing a lot of the hardware come into our room and we're making every effort to get that hardware in and out as quickly as possible and our goal is to have uh, all that hardware assembled and we're making good progress here in our room in helping those efforts. The initial J2X engine 10001 will be ready for test early in calendar 2011 and that testing will really give us an idea whether we've nailed the design. The manufacturing processes are now being developed on this first engine and we're proofing these things out, making sure the tapes are correct in the machining, making sure the weld parameters are right, making sure that the assembly sequences are perfect for the upcoming engines. 
So it's always hard to get that first engine put together, but once we have this put together, we'll put in a bunch of improvements and the following engines will go together much more easily. 